Welcome to the media review segment. With me here to review how the media has reported issues for the week is Malam Mohamed Garba, NUJ president and a member of Shopee as a convenier communications. You're welcome to the program. It's my pleasure. Okay, before we move on to discuss other issues, let's start with how the media has covered the issue of, of Ebola. Um, we'll take a few um, headlines from The Guardian, Wednesday, August 13th. It says, hope rises for Ebola patients as WHO approves drugs. Um, next on that is Daily Independent, also on the same day. It says, WHO approves the use of trial drugs. What do you think about the general coverage of, of um, Ebola so far, both for the print and, and electronic media? Well, I, I think for the first time, I want to say that uh, we have seen the media playing a traditional role of uh, informing and educating Nigerians about the existing reality or situation on ground. I'm indeed very happy because for the first time, I want to repeat, I've seen the media becoming very, very consistent, especially when it comes to the issue of figure. And, and if it were in the past, you realize that uh, you will see a situation where, for instance, one of the media organizations, when it comes to the issue of victims, talking about 20, others will be talking about 30 and 40. But this time around, the media is being very, very responsive. They have relied absolutely from the information of the stakeholders, those who are responsible, from doctors who are on ground, and then, of course, from the ministries of information, especially from the Minister of Health and the Minister of Information. That's why today, if you look and the at... the National Orientation Agency. Of course, and the National Orientation Agency. So I think uh, the media has done very, very well as far as I'm concerned. And then... Also, for the first time, you will see that virtually all the media organizations in Nigeria, they have been engaged in mobilization, sensitization, and the campaign, especially on the preventive measure. So I think it is very, very good development as far as the media is concerned. And I think that is why today you realize that all the figures are the same figures and, and the analysis are also the same analysis. And then also you look at the media, given in the broadcast media, we have seen quite a number of free air times, uh, enlightening Nigerians, informing them about Ebola. On the pages of the newspaper, we have also seen the same thing. So I think this is an effort that is quite encouraging coming on the side of the media. And that's quite commendable because they are getting all the information from, from one source. Exactly. Okay, let's just link in the issue of Ebola now um, with um, the medical doctor strike. Do you think that it's been the, the, the issue of the medical doctor strike is being downplayed? Yeah, of course it is. Because the trend as it is today is Ebola. But the media has to bear in mind that there is no how you can take care of people who are being observed or people who are really affected by the viruses if you don't have doctors on ground. So there so needs to, there's a need for exactly, more balance. So there is, need, to that. there is need for the media to also try as much as possible to, to, to look at the issue of doctor strike. The issue of doctor strike, as far as I'm concerned, is, 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 is really a very serious challenge for us, especially at the present situation where we have the challenge of Ebola. In fact, I subscribe to the position of the editors who met last week in, in, in Lagos and were seriously pleading to doctors to come back to work. And I think I should use the same opportunity to appeal to, to these professionals that is, it is a matter of urgency and emergency. So there is need for them, whatever grievances they have against government, against their employers, they should also look at the lives of Nigerians. It is very, very important that they come back to work so that when we are able to, to address the issue of Ebola, then other issues can come on board. Okay, thank you very much. Let's move on to the next story now. Um, and that's the reports about the Emma of Gwaza, who was allegedly abducted but apparently it turned out not to be so. What do you think about this issue of speculation in, in the media? Well, 
I, I think the practice of journalism generally in some part of this country, especially in areas that are affected by the insurgencies and the issue of insecurity, especially in the northeast, specifically Borno Yobe, I think is, is, is a very serious issue. It is an issue of concern because one, you even hardly find journalists on field. So when you are not there to report directly what has really happened, what you have seen, what you have experienced, it is virtually very difficult for you to come up with accurate information. Okay. I don't think that there is any journalist that is even in Goza. And if you look at the equipment that we have in the media houses and the media organizations in Nigeria for both the broadcast and the print, you, you realize that we need a lot of equipment to ensure that uh, we capture what is actually happening on field. Unfortunately, the equipment are not there, and then the issue of training, apart from training, the issue of security, it's, safety, It's, it's and a security. major challenge because this you can't really compare exactly. our reporters with international reporters when they do not have life insurance, they do not have access to equipment, yeah. and they do not have, you know, all of those things that would help them to to report accurately and effectively. Yeah. So what is, as the NUJ president now, what is NUJ doing about this? Well, I, I think in the areas of uh, equipment to work, we have been very, very consistent, especially at this material time that we are going to migrate to digital. I think we have made our position in NUJ and Ratau, we have been very consistent. And, and we have been talking to government and, and, and the owners of the media, especially in the broadcast sector, to ensure that we have equipment that will assist our members, our colleagues, journalists to perform effectively well. And incidentally, we have the cream of journalists that we have in Nigeria. They are perfect. In fact, they are very, very... In fact, Nigeria has one of the best cream of journalists in Africa today. But unfortunately, because of this problem of equipment, we find it very, very difficult to excel in most of the areas where we report. So I think the issue of equipment is very, very important, and these are areas of challenges which we have made our position very clear. And the issue of security, we have met at the level of uh, stakeholders involving the Guild of Editors, the owners of, 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 of media organizations, and we felt that uh, one of the measures that should be adopted is to ensure that as part of condition of service for any journalist to be employed. Both private issue, and public? Both private and public. The issue of insurance has to be captured. Yes, I been agree, because you can't tell very, people to, very, to very risk very their clear. lives when they have families. Uh, and, and I'm happy that gradually some of the media organizations are really implementing some of these decisions. And then at the level of NUJ as well, we have what we call a new personal insurance scheme where an individual journalist can come, come and subscribe into the scheme. It's personal because you are to make personal uh, subscription and, and knowing fully well that the, NU, the salaries of journalists are not, journalists are not well paid and, and some are not even paid. That is the reality. We felt that we should make the premium affordable. That's why we, it is into three stages. We have 6,000 750 in case of death or accident. An individual or family is entitled to 1.5 million naira. In fact, let me say it, that I had the privilege of presenting the check of 1.5 million naira to, to more than 10 journalists in Nigeria today. And then the second state is 3 million naira, and the premium is about 18,500. The third one is uh, 22,500, and then a family or an individual in case of accident or death is entitled to five million. Thank you very much. As we wrap up briefly now, I just want you to highlight the key leading areas um, that the, the key areas that NUA, NUJ is leading currently in journalism. Well, well I think the NUJ is in the forefront of uh, ensuring that uh, various African countries actually implement the issue of security and safety of journalists. I think we have done a lot of work in that aspect. We have made a lot of presentation at the sub-regional and even continental level, even at the level of IFG. 
we are on the lead as far as the issue of security and safety of journalists is concerned. And then the issue of uh, freedom of expression and, and the Thank freedom of the much. media. These are also critical areas which I think the NUJ is at the forefront of ensuring that uh, we are able to achieve high level of freedom of expression and the freedom of the media. And I always emphasize that uh, what we have, what we can accommodate here in Nigeria, if you look at the content of our publication Thank you very in much, most sir. of the media we, houses, we you cannot here. accommodate it in some of the countries in Thank Africa. You. So I think we have gone very, very far. That's why we are on the lead in terms of achieving freedom of expression and freedom of the media in the continent of Africa. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure having you. Thank I you. I hope, hope to have you sometime. Yeah, thank soon. you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for being a part of this segment. I'm sure you've had it insightful with Malam Mohamed Garba and I. For more interactions, visit Facebook Insights TV and it's on KDG.